I'm Ivan Zoot with Jatai Academy. Welcome to another video in our educational series. Uh, several of our videos have focused on the subject of sales in the beauty and barber industry, and I love talking about selling. I think it's a fascinating concept, how we interact with folks. I thought I'd share with you three big tips for how I like to sell from behind the chair. The first tip I like to share in suggesting selling techniques or tactics is sell by sharing, sell by the experience. When we use professional take-home hair care product on our clients as a part of the service experience, this is the Jatai Healthy Luxury Beard and Mustache Softener and Conditioner. It's a fabulous product, but it's product in a tube until it comes out of the tube. We've got to put it in our hands. We've got to use it on the client. We have to let them experience it. We have to let them smell it and touch it and really know what's going on there because then we spark their curiosity. They begin to ask questions. My second tip for selling is selling by way of listening. Selling by way of listening is all about asking good questions and listening to the answers. So, tell me, what do you like most about your hair? Oh, I really like how thick it is when I have a little bit of length on top. Well, if you were listening, you heard, don't take the top of this guy's hair too short. What is it that you like about the length? Well, I like the way it lays, I like the way it falls. Ask good questions, ask open-ended, thought-provoking questions. Don't ask what we call say-no questions. A say-no question is a question that can be answered with the word no. Would you like to buy some shampoo? No, you're dead. There's no more conversation there. A better question would be, tell me about the shampoo that you use. Now that really didn't end with a question mark, but it's a question because it promotes conversation and explores the subject of hair care product and its use. So number one, I like to share by engaging customers, by using product, by showing. Number two, I like to share by listening. And number three on the list is storytelling. I love to talk. I hope people love to listen. But a wonderful way to cite examples and experiences is to use stories. It's a way to relate context, to create context, to share other people's experiences. For instance, in the case of um, shave cream, I like to explain when we use a shave cream and the Healthy Luxury Shave Cream in the Jatai Healthy Luxury Shaving Set is a really innovative product. It is a low lather, low foam. It's not a soak. It doesn't lather or bubble up. So I will explain to someone, you know, the first time I used the shave cream, I noticed how smooth and slick it was and I also noticed that it wasn't foaming or bubbling or lathering up because it's not really a soak and I could feel how slippery it was, and I was amazed at how close it shaved. And one of the really cool things about it was I could see my sideburns. So I could follow the line, respect where the barber put them, without cutting up too high or having my sideburns creep in between haircuts. Well, that's a whole long, drawn-out story about what I love about the Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. But if I simply told you I love Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream, you should buy it you might be less likely to buy it. But when I share and relate my own personal experiences and I turn it into a story, people love to listen to stories. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're sad, sometimes they're funny. I like to think I'm funny from time to time. I'm not always as funny as I think, but by telling stories I create engagement and engagement creates action and action leads to sales. And those are three great tips. Create experiences, listen and tell stories. Wonderful ways to sell in the professional beauty and barber industry. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.